All right, y'all, we got Raven's Home, and it's Raven's Home review time, and I'm going to say this. This show was really hard to watch at times, and there's mostly with me when it comes to um, That's So Raven, there were moments to where everything was a bit cringy, but in this case, it was a lot cringy. Now, when it comes to Raven herself, Raven is still pretty funny, but she goes back to how she used to be for That's So Raven. But then there are also some points to where she's outright hilarious, especially when she's smothering her kids. And I will admit that is kind of funny. There's still a massive amount of chemistry between her and Chelsea. But there's rarely any chemistry with the kids. I can definitely say that with the brother and also Chelsea's son, there is some chemistry with them, but not a lot. And with the twins themselves, they don't really have a lot of chemistry together at all. Now, with this whole vision thing and, then, and being psychic, the one thing that confuses me is, like, why is Raven keeping it a secret? From what I remember, and I think it was maybe the first or second season of That's a Raven, is that Raven's, probably the third season, but Raven's mom was fairly open about her side of the family that had a lot of psychic visions, while her dad's side were the skeptics. They were the ones that pretty much kind of made fun of the fact that they were all psychic, while her mom's side embraced it. And she pretty much told her about everything that happened. Like for the whole psychic cold. The fact that her, her aunt actually happens to be psychic. And they pretty much dived into that. And they weren't afraid of diving into who she was. Now the fact that she's hiding it from her kids is the one thing I don't necessarily understand. Which means that she probably hid it from her husband too. Now this is just my overall theory here. They did kind of talk a little bit about their divorce and, and how it happened. But with Chelsea, it was just a tragedy. And I'm just like, why you gotta make her so tragic? The fact that her husband robbed her blind and she's living with her best friend. I'm like, good lord, how pathetic. That's just sad. Why you gotta make it like that, man? Why you gotta make it like a tragedy? But it is Disney. I mean, Disney has killed off at least multiple parents on multiple shows on multiple occasions and making the, the single one standing. So that happens to be somewhat normal in the Disney world. Let me rephrase that. But other than that, we've seen like a lot of Disney movies to where there's always either one person, I mean, one single parent or no parents at all. So I guess we should get used to that. But other than that... Uh, yeah, that did kind of go dark. And they actually did say that on the show. But I will say this. Chelsea has always been a character that kind of pissed me off a little bit on That's So Raven because she was an idiot for a very long time. But as the seasons went on, she actually did kind of not only stick up for herself, but she was the voice of reason in some occasions. In this case, she is the dope. Like, I'm, I hate to say it, but she literally is a child. She is an absolute child, and she does this on purpose to where her son is literally taking the role of being a parent. This is not funny. That was no way, shape, or form funny at all. She literally just looks like she's incapable of doing anything. And the fact that she said her husband would let her cook, wouldn't let her clean, because you would burn the house down. He would probably find a way to destroy it. And I'm like, she could not be that inept. I'm sorry. And they really made her inept. I don't consider that funny at all. Now, when it comes to Raven, the one thing we know is that Raven was striving to be a fashion designer from the very beginning. On up down to the third season when she finally got an internship. My question is, is that why is she living literally in a cubbyhole with five people living in the house? And her daughter is sleeping on the couch where Chelsea sleeps. That's supposed to be her room. What is happening here? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. If I had a best friend that was living with me, I would make sure I had a house that would have her own room and my daughter would have hers too. I would not have her sleeping on the couch. I'm sorry. My best friend would be. I'm sorry. My kids go before my best friend. Sorry. And see her sleeping on the couch and she had to fold it up and be independent. I'm like, no, hon. Your best friend sleeps on that couch. That's what she needs to be, not your daughter. That was the one thing that kind of pissed me off about that show, too. And yeah, when it came to the visions, it was interesting to see that the son actually did have visions, too. But it would have been nice that Raven actually came out and just be like, you know what? I have psychic visions, too, so you were not lying. And they will be able to bond that way. And then you can actually come up with an episode on how the how the um how the other twin is jealous. 
But instead, they're using to keep this a secret? Why? Their, her mom was so open at that, so Raven about her, her other side of the family, about her family being psychic. How come Raven couldn't do that with her own son? Honestly, this show, there. I mean, I, I know there are points in time to where you literally have to shut your brain off, shut your brain off, and dumb yourself down, and literally just accept it for what it is. But I cannot accept this. I can't. They did the same exact thing with um, Girl Meets World when they could have done so much more. Raven could have been so much more. Raven's home could have been so much more. This is the show where you're supposed to draw people in. And it didn't really get me much. Don't get me twisted. I am intrigued about what really happened with their divorce. But I'm not so keen on this show. I don't know. I really want to be wrong. I really do want this show to be great. But it's just, it's kind of hit or miss. But honestly, y'all, I'm not going to say it's a dud. It has potential to be great, but it just didn't start off that well in the first episode. But y'all, I want to hear your thoughts. Leave in the comments below. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you like the show. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Peace. Hmm. <laughs>